Hello, I'm Biscato. A few months ago, I began recording the Popper Etudes, and I've learned quite a lot since then. However, I notice I haven't really made any tutorial videos. Until now. I recently recorded Popper Etude number 7, and I'd like to talk about a few things that I've learned along the way. One of the most important aspects of this etude is the fact that we must work on feeling comfortable at every part in the bow, especially at the tip. As I draw the bow out to the tip, I'm reminded to breathe in from my diaphragm. I'm also reminded that I need to push off with my right leg as I go towards the tip and then push off with my left leg as I draw the bow back into the frog. What that enables me to do is feel a connectedness to my whole body and a balance as well. Being aware of a line of energy from the bottom of my feet all the way to the top of my head. Another important aspect is to be aware of the inward rotation of the shoulders as opposed to the outward rotation of the shoulders. Very often when we play in higher positions, it's so easy to hunch over and to inwardly rotate our shoulders. Well, guess what that does to our breathing? It actually keeps us from breathing in a way that is open and it affects our sound greatly. Think of how a singer sings and how they breathe from their diaphragm. Well, we as cellists must do the same exact thing. The more comfortable, the more natural, the more we have an outward rotation of our shoulders as we're playing, especially in the higher positions, the better we're going to sound. I want to talk a little bit about the left hand. Obviously, with this etude, there are a lot of hand frames that we must memorize, between the thumb and third finger, mainly. And that's just it. Hand frames are so vitally important because we're playing a note in relation to the thumb and other notes as well. The thumb is often described as an anchor. However, it should feel more like an anchor out at sea rather than an anchor in drywall, which is to say that the thumb must be pliable and flexible. A good way to test this is to make sure that you can vibrate your thumb at all times. I hope this is helpful and please enjoy Popper Etude number seven.